Okay. So um, we already have GBP by 1201 today and JPY by 1250. All right. The Chinese are on holiday today, so you might not be having anything from their side. All right. Then uh, by 10 a.m., this is 8.39 by my time. By 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., we'll be having Euro uh, low impact news. But as low as it can be, it can still shake the market. So we don't yeah. uh, over, we don't underestimate what news can do. All right, so we still have um, USD news by 3 p.m., AUD by 3.30, and Indian dollar news by 4.45, USD medium impact this time now by 6 p.m. So we might want to take trades like GPP and JPY now if we see any setup. Because these okay. news are fast and they are not going to report today. So okay. let's go to our money scanner. And log in. Okay, so I'll try to I'll try to first of all explain how to use some of the tools. There are a lot of tools that the Amoni scanner also has that I have not explored at all. Which okay. when when we met at um, 10 degrees on Saturday and Morris took us on a particular strategy he uses. I felt that was even simpler than quick fire strategy. Wow. Okay. Wow. Years, this market is looking almost beautiful. But we can't take GBP USD because there's a news by 2, 3, 30, there about 3 p.m. on that. You might not want to risk might not want to risk that GBP USD, so we should be looking for something like GBP JPY. Okay. All right. Um, so these are other tools that you can use here. This is the pitchfork. I don't know how to use it yet. I don't know how to use the brush yet. I know how to use this one. I don't know how to use this yet. But this XAB, this ABCD pattern is what we are seeing here. So okay. on, on your own, you might get to a point where even without using the Amuni scanner on your trading view, this is trading view, you can connect the trading view and form your X A B D A B C D pattern. Then the Fibonacci tools, I don't know how to use it well yet. So this is the long and short thing. I think I know it a little. Then the zoom in and zoom out thing. Let me explain that before we get to real mm -hmm. serious business. Now, if you want to zoom in your page, you can come. Mm -hmm. I hope you are following my course of. Yes, I am. Okay, so you can come to this side of the table. You press your left cursor, or your left click rather, your left okay. click, and drag up or down. <clears throat> if I want to move this page up now, I will still press my left cursor again and move it up. Okay. So whether you use this side to zoom or you come and use the main zoom in case i want to see like i said yesterday i am a, i'm a kind of detailed person i love details a lot so sometimes i want to see just like moses when he saw the burning bush he said let me move closer and see this great site so i want to see what i'm seeing very clearly i tap on my zoom in then i come around that region where i want to actually look at i will still press my left cursor or my left click and either drag up or down okay so it will give me a clearer picture a clearer view yes so i can see the things i was i wasn't seeing before this has been a very wonderful market bless you it's been a Thank very you. wonderful market wow but notwithstanding let's move it up a little so our d candle obviously has touched the entry price line let me check mm -hmm. how far this trade, this next trade has been because this is a buy market and the next candle is already from which is a buy. Okay. So you want okay. to check how long, how how much you will have covered if you took that. You come to your ruler, your measurement, um, your measurement mm -hmm. side there, tap on it. Yeah. Wow. The second one came up again. And are you sure we are not going to take this trade? Mm. So I'm trying to just a minute. That again. So I'll drop it at the base, the tip here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
just a minute. Okay. So if you want to do the measurements, you don't need to press and hold your left cursor. Just tap it where you want to start your measurement from. Okay. And so far, so good. This trade has already given us 10 pips. You can see 0 0.00108. So that's 10 pips and 8 pipettes already. Okay. And in this strategy, we usually tell that we should use um, 13 pips or 10 pips out of the market. So that strategy. Okay. So I can make as many 10 pips out of this. All right. But like I said, though the USD news is still going to happen by 3 p.m., that's uh, six hours away. So mm -hmm. and this is this is a 15 minutes candle, so we can still take this trade. And be sure that our our ten pips will have dropped before three p.m. Because even when our strategy is short, except if there's a news, I told us news can make it happen in a split second, and news yeah. can make it totally flawed. Yeah. So sometimes it's better to play safe by just letting that market be, all right, okay. and uh, have some peace of mind. But with the way we are seeing it here, let's just use this as an analysis. So I've indirectly explained how to use your Zoom. I mean, out here, you zoom in and zoom out. Okay. So let's try to do our analysis on this trade. Now, another way to expand or reduce your 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 uh, chart is to use these icons at the base. Yeah, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Where my uh, cursor okay. is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're seeing yeah. arrow back, minus, refresh, plus, and arrow four. Right. Okay. If you want to enlarge it to, or you want to stretch, you want to stretch that particular chart, you can use the arrow. Can you see it? You can use okay. the plus sign okay. to stretch okay. that particular page. You can use the okay. minus to shrink it again. Okay. Ah, my God, see market here. I'm going to have to go back here and go then if I want to refresh it to where it was, I'll press the refresh button. It gives me back what we used to have. Okay. So now, having said that, uh, you already know how to pick your currency pairs. You search from your brokers. Uh, I usually use the Forex one anyway. Not because, Hot Forex. Yeah, not because of Forex. I have Forex as my broker, but you can use any of them. All of them form almost the same pattern. Like this is okay. GBPUSD. Let's check XM. GBPUSD for XM. GDP US, you can see they also have it here too. Mm. And we will also look at this uh, Euro US. Euro news as fast. No, Euro news is coming by 10. Oh, we can't, we can't, go, we can't come near this trade yet. Mm. So we can only look at GDP US. Okay. So let's see if it's still the same pattern here. Okay, I think it's almost, I think it's the same. It looks the same. It looks the same. It's also a buy. Okay, yeah, so uh, but let's go back to our outputs. <clears throat> Me, I'm, I'm an intraday, I'm an intraday trader. But for those that want to be doing intraday or the one street between days, you can use the four hours the, the daily candles. Okay, I when you say intraday, that means you must in, finish that. I must finish my trade, trade that yes, okay, okay. So let's hold on for I hope network is not doing something. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Okay, so we are, I think it's the same deep crap that. Um, what yeah. is giving us that uh, XM is also giving so it's still the same trade, it's actually the same. Yeah, so let us uh, let's expand it a little. So now to set our indicators, you come here, tap on indicators, it brings down the balance sheets, as I call it. You look for what you're looking for. This is within the ones here. You tap on it once. We are going to do the first one. Remember, we need five of these. 
we're going to do the first yes. one first. Yeah. So um, we come to format it to reset it. And mm -hmm. I said the, the settings for this two prior strategy is 50, 50, 50. against two. Yeah. Then you go to your style, you remove the plot background, all right? Format your input, okay. save as default. Okay. I think somebody was asking me a question about this thing yesterday. Save this as default. Okay, the person is not here, but he was saying that after he has set his every, every like this, so sometimes mm -hmm. when network goes up, he has to start all the way. I said that means you didn't save it as default. If you saved it as default and you go and pick other page, the same setting will still remain for every other okay. page you pick. But if you refresh, okay. it might totally go up. If you refresh, mm. it's just start all over again. And normally, if not for the sake of training, it doesn't take me three minutes to set everything I need to use. Okay. So I can always do very fast. All right. So now that we have set our foundation, we go back and add the remaining four floors. Remember, we said it's a cost to rebuild. So you tap your Bollinger Bands, excuse me, four times, one, two, three, four. When we are done with that, we will still need Stochastic. So let me just search for Stochastic once and for all. Stochastic that has been added. We go and do the settings for that too. The settings for RSI is supposed to be seven. Okay. So save that too as default. Okay. And OK it. All right. Then the default for, I mean, the settings for stochastic is 14 against 3 against 3. All right, we save that too as default. Okay. And okay it. All, All right. right. Now let's come on. You will notice that we only have one upper Bollinger band and one lower Bollinger band here, and yeah. just one medium. But the reason is because the five Bollinger bands are all overlapping because they have the okay. same measurements here. So okay. until we okay. change this to separate them. So we start yeah. with the second guy and change it to 50 against 2.5. Mm. This time around, you're not saving as default again. You're just clicking OK. Okay. All right. The next one will be 50 against 3. You OK it. The next one will be 3.5. You OK it. And the last one will be 4. You OK that too. Okay. All right. So we have our five. Bollinger bands. Now, another yeah. thing I discovered lately too, if you double tap this price action chart, it will now bring it as the only chart you're seeing. <clears throat> now, you okay. see that you can't see, you can't see, what does that mean? You can't see RSI, RSI again, you can't see stochastic, stochastic. again. Okay. Yeah. okay. If you tap it again, it will bring the other guys up. Okay. All right. So, that being said, um, at this side of the trade, you'll be seeing your uh your entry price your stock loss and your take profit and i said it that when your take profit figures are above the entry price it is a buy mm -hmm. right another way to know it is that this our chart our, our pattern here will form something like a and m let me make okay. this a little bit now we see it's from x yeah. to a back to b from B to okay. C and down to D, it looks like okay. an M. But if it is okay. a cell, it's going to be the opposite. It will look like a W. Okay. So it's just the flip of that um, that buy or that M okay. and that M pattern. For me, I don't use mm -hmm. that. All I need to see is where is my entry price and where are my take profit prices. So obviously, mm -hmm. this is a buy market. So now that we have set our uh, our things in place. Now let's start our confirmations. Mm. First of all, okay, let me make this a little bit. Okay, so is our D candle touching or crossing the entry price line? D candle. Yeah, this yes, is our D candle, the, the red candle. I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. So the D candle touching is touching the, the entry price. price and is even crossing it. Yes. Okay, so that's a double, that's a good news. All right, okay. it is touching okay. the second condition says is our D candle, the same D candle, is it touching or crossing any of the five Bollinger bands? Let's let's any. see this. any or of the five Bollinger bands. This is our D candle. First of all, it is yeah. touching the entry price and it is yeah. it is passing through 
Polling chapter bands. Okay. So okay. that is another confirmation condition two okay. is already met. Now, okay. I don't know if you can see. There's a tiny dotted line where my yeah. cursor is. Yes. Now, if I place it on my D candle and you look at, you trace that line down to RSI, down to stochastic. There is a mm -hmm. point where that straight line is touching our RSI line, and uh, yeah. for the sake of uh, okay. knowledge, RSI means relative strength index. All right. Yes. So where it is touching it, look at the figures around here where my cursor is right now. Okay. And so when I bring it back on the D candle, it will tell us exactly at what point is our D candle on the RSI. So what are we seeing mm -hmm. here? 8.6666. Um, is that what you're seeing? No. At the RSI. Point, no, I'm not seeing that one. Okay. What I have uh, okay. this is where this is where I wanted to look at when I drag my D I, I see fifty one. My numbers are in thousands, no fifty five point something, seventy five point something, twenty five point something. Wow. That's how mine are graduated. Okay. Uh, all right, let's let's use mine. Let's use okay. mine for now. I'll need you to share your screen later, but you can't share while I'm still sharing. Okay. okay. So now presently what I'm seeing on mine is 48.7409, where my cursor okay. is presently. 86, okay. blah blah blah. Now. So I'm going to drag my cursor back oh, to the okay. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. okay, I change. Okay, go ahead. So now my cursor is on the D candle and tracing it to the RSI. What figures are you seeing on mine now? On the D candle. Yes, uh, on the RSI. I'm seeing, I'm seeing thirty four point nine six one six. Oh, okay. You're using, you're looking at the price side. No, no, no. Look oh. at this. Look at this part here. Let me let me do an annotation so that you see where I want you to look. Just a minute. Okay. This part. Okay, yeah. That is where I want to look at when my when my hand is on my okay. Beacon. Okay, okay. All right, so let's do it again. I'll bring my cursor back to my D candle. What figure are you seeing now? Eight point six 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 six. six. Yeah. Yeah. So now is for RSI for a buy. We are expecting our RSI to either be touching the thirty grid line. This is the thirty grid line. Okay. Right. If you look at the price line now, the price line is here, and let's trace our dotted lines to that side. Can you see thirty point nine two? Yes. Right. Yes. So that is our thirty grid line, and the guy up here is our seventy grid line. Yes. All right. So now the D candle on the RSI is showing eight point six 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 six. Is that below mm -hmm. thirty or not? It's below thirty. Eight is below thirty. Yeah. So that gives us another confirmation that our D candle is below thirty for a buy. I think we were looking at a sell now. We're looking at either touching line seventy or it is above line seventy. Okay. All right. So condition number three has just been met. All right. Okay. Now the okay. same straight line we are going to trace it down to our stochastic. For stochastic, okay. if it is a cell, we are expecting our uh, D candle to be touching it at either eighty or above eighty for a cell. All mm. right. This is the eighty okay. grid line for stochastic. Okay. And this other one here is the third is the twenty grid line. Okay. okay. So I think we were looking at a cell. We are expecting our figures to be a little bit above eighty or touching eighty. So let's bring our okay. D candle down again. Then you look at this part, this part mm -hmm. for what exactly mm -hmm. is saying. So our D candle is saying that it is at eight point six seven four or eleven point two six two six. That is below 20. So that is another oh. perfect condition. Confirmation. Please right. let me ask. It, what, right. what does the two numbers, what, what do they represent? Now, the blue is for the buy. The red is for the oh. sell. So, okay, okay. Normally, the, the, okay. the strategy this guy took on Saturday, he was looking at where 
the blue and the red crosses themselves somewhere around there. Okay. He was using that as part of his own confirmation. Confirmation. And he was also okay. using a different line. His own looks okay. quite, quite quite simple. So I'm going. I'm trying to work with him to invite him to do a zoom for us. All right. So okay. condition four has also been met. Now we want to look for a divergence. All right. Like I was explaining divergence yesterday. There is. Let me see. I think I can finish this class in less than 30 minutes. Maybe we are going. Just a minute. Now, what we want to look at for the divergence is candle X and candle mm -hmm. D. There's a connecting line, a straight blue line that passes through 1.724 yeah. down, down, down to D. To D. So yeah. if on our price action chart, this chart, if on this price action chart, our X to D is going downwards, mm -hmm. all right? On our yeah. RSI, we expect our D to X to also be going the opposite direction. Okay. Do you understand it? To have a divergence. Like another way I usually know divergence is greater than sign and less than sign. That must be the sign that should be formed, whether for a buy or a sell. Okay. Okay. Not like the two of them going in the same. If this guy is going down like this, my other side okay. should not go down with it. The same it direction. Go it has to go up. Okay. So let's let's try that out now. Um, to do that, you will now make use of this particular tool. You can see trend line here. Yeah. All right. I believe you can see the blue line connecting X and D. Yes, I can. Okay. I can. I, I remember somebody challenging me in my group yesterday that the thing was blurry. And I was wondering, I, I wasn't using my phone to record, so how come it was blurry? All right, so you tap on the arrow here to pick a vertical line. Yeah. All right, when you pick a vertical mm -hmm. line, something popped up here. Okay. Where my hand is. Then drop it on your X candle. Now let me make it a little big and clear. Then you can change okay. the color for better views. Okay. All right. The same line, tap it again, come to your D candle and drop it. All right. Okay. Then come back and tap it again, come to your RSI, trace the same straight line to your RSI and drop it. Mm. All right. Repeat the same process for your D candle on the RSI and drop it. Okay. So when that is done, you now want to connect this point to the point where the straight line is touching our RSI. Mm. Do you get it now? Yeah. All right. So this time around, you come back to where you are picking your vertical line, click on the arrow, and click trend line. Okay. Okay. So you now bring your trend line down to your RSI, look for where it is actually touching your RSI. Drop it there. And this time around, you don't press your left cursor again, you just drag. Okay. Just drag. But sometimes it's a cut in between you. Can you see? You just cut in between them. When that happens, I made a mistake somewhere, so I have to delete. Just a minute. Okay. So I'll come back and tap it. Then now, this time around, I will now drag because it has dropped before. I will now drag it and make sure i'm setting this now from what we are seeing here is there a divergence or not there's no divergence very good there's no divergence here mm. okay so because they seem to be going the same direction be, it looks like they are going in the same direction exactly so now yeah we have checked our condition one it was met condition two mm. it was met condition three was met Condition four was met. Condition five was not met. Now, if we have four over five, that is still over eighty percent. Okay. All right. So we can yeah. take this trade. Okay. We can take this trade, and now let's assume we want to take this trade. We are going to practice it on demo. I also take it on demo for today. Let's see what result it gives us. And remember, I had a bias because there's going to be a USD move by three okay. p.m. All okay. right. That is yeah. my bias. But aside that, this is a good 
Excuse me. This is a good trade. Mm. Okay. This is okay. a good trade. So um, now we we'll go to our, our, our method to that call and we pick GBP USD. Please let's do it on demo. We pick GBP yeah. USD. Now what you will do is that it's a buy market. So you take it three, you take three positions of GBP USD just for physical. Three positions of GBP USD. And when I say three positions, that means new you click on GBP USD, pick new order, set your loss size. Please let's use 0 0.01. Set your loss size to 0 0.01 and click okay. buy by market. As soon as it is okay. open, you repeat the same thing almost immediately. Buy by market okay. again. You repeat it the okay. third time. Buy by market. Then you now come back and modify those three positions okay. to get okay. your 13 pips. And remember why I said I take 13 pips for this strategy is because my broker will want to charge you. All right. Maybe they want to charge nope. for their spread. They want to charge for commission and things like that. Let them charge it on the extra three. Ah, uh, pips. Okay. okay, so that in the long run, after all their charges, I still have my ten pips complete. Ten pips, okay. and at my zero point zero one, that would be one dollar each. Okay. 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 So let's let's try that out, and then I think that's almost everything. We'll come back and do uh look for a sell option. Okay. Now, when you take this trade, it doesn't mean that instantly if you start um, uh, buying. Okay. A lot of things will happen, but it will still end up coming to deliver. This trade mm. is still very fresh, and the tendencies are that when it is close to the new sign for the USD, okay, it might make it happen in a split second. Mm. So usually, if I want to consider this trade again, I might come back and consider it after 3 p.m. Okay. Because after okay. the USD news by 3 p.m., okay, I have another news by oh wow. I think the best thing is to consider it now because 3 p.m., then USD 6 p.m. is a medium impact. That one will shake it. So I can only take, you can manage your risk, just take the uh, decision to make that thing and manage your lot sizes to make sure that even if anything will go wrong, it will be, okay. it won't be too much. Okay. Now, I usually don't say stop loss for this strategy. That's oh, when okay. I see very perfect conditions. I just leave it open. But because you are okay. seeing some news to happen, you might want mm. to set at least 30 pips stop loss. Okay. All okay. Right, for that trade. But I have the assurance that it might <clears throat> deliver before uh, the news time. So that's just basically okay. how this strategy works. So let's let's just take it on our um our demo account. Let me pick my phone so that we can do that together. All right. So you can set it on your own at your okay. own end too. Mm-hmm. 